Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're in the state of Nevada and today we're going to talk about are some of the don'ts that you should know before you come to Nevada. And the first don't I have for you and one thing that the locals would like you to know is don't call it Nevada. Okay, they're not pretentious here. This is very much a laid back state and they're Nevada. Okay, just let's just get that one out of the way first. It's Nevada. All right. Now my second don't for you is don't think Nevada is just Las Vegas. Okay, we're out here by Lake Mead. I mean, I know Las Vegas isn't too far away but there's so much more to see and do when you come to Nevada than just walking the strip and gambling. I mean, the state has so many state parks, national parks you can visit. Yes, even if you're in Vegas, you can see some of the beauty of the state by going to you know, Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area, or you can come to a state park when you're here, go to the Valley of Fire State Park if you're by Vegas. It's not that hard, but there's so much more to see than just the strip. I mean, you can go up to Reno, there's like Tahoe, you can go to Carson City. I mean, if you're a doo -doo 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 aficionado, Area 51, one that's here in Nevada as well. So there's a lot more than just the strip when you come here to Nevada, okay? So yes, see Vegas, but also get outside of Vegas, okay? Now, my next don't for you is don't forget, when you come to Nevada, the elements will play tricks with you, okay? You do need to be prepared. So if you are driving around and you're exploring this beautiful state, make sure you've got bottled water ready. Make sure you got your sunblock and stuff like that if you're gonna be doing some of these hikes in this beautiful nature here, because it can get dangerous, because you don't really think about it. You're like, oh, it's this beautiful weather here. I'll just be out for the day. And then whoa, you can get really bad sunburn, whether you're in the cities or, or you're hiking or whatever. So do be prepared for that, okay? Don't forget the sunblock and don't forget to stay hydrated, okay? And for my friends that are gonna be in Vegas, hydrating is not just with mojitos and, and beers, okay? And big drinks like this, you need to be drinking your water as well. Now, my next don't for you is don't think that Nevada is just a desert. Look, this state is enormous. And the difference between the North and the South is quite large. And so when you come here, don't just expect that desert everywhere you go. Think about it, the Sierra Nevada mountain range, I mean, that's in the north of the state. You can go skiing when you're here. Lake Tahoe and things, yes, you have a lot more to do than just desert vacation. So be prepared for that, okay? Now, my next don't for you when you come here is don't be surprised when you see gambling everywhere. I mean, anywhere and everywhere you could think people could gamble, it'll be available. When you walk off the plane, guess what? There'll be some slot machines waiting for you. Oh, when you're going to the store, oh, there might be some machines there for you to gamble at as well. Look, gambling is legal here and it is all over the place. So just know that you're gonna hear some ding, 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 and bells and whistles all over the place. And that's okay. And when you're going driving, when you think you're gonna hit a gas station, don't be surprised if it's, oh, that's another casino, okay? So, so do be ready for that. And I think that leads into another kind of safety thing you need to know with looking at the size of the state is don't forget to fill up with gas every chance you get when you drive around Nevada because it's such a large state but very low population density that you can go a long way without having too many gas stations so it's really important that you do you know top up and, and the thing is is you if you think oh I want to get married in Vegas and then we'll just get divorced in Reno well that's still a seven hour marriage because it's about a seven hour drive from Vegas to Reno and when you are driving around the state another little don't is don't forget about the speed traps that are out there. I've seen quite a few of the coppers out there just kind of parked behind a sign or down a side road and stuff like that, waiting to get us tourists as we go by. So do respect the law of the speed when you are here, or at least stay close to it. Now, when you are driving around this beautiful state, like I said, you're gonna see gambling lots of places. And my next don't for you is when you do go gambling and you do go to those casinos, don't forget to tip the waitresses in the casino. Why? Well, I know a lot of people go and play the slots because like, oh, I'm gonna get free drinks, I'm gonna cop drinks, it's great. Well, yeah, but those waitresses bring them around. And if you want them to bring you more and keep coming back more often, you need to tip them. And the better you tip them, probably the better the drinks are gonna bring to you are going to be. Also, the more often they're gonna come. So don't forget to tip those waitresses, okay? Because it does make a difference and it'll make a difference you're drinking as well. Now, another thing I think you should know is when you come to Nevada, you don't have to worry about the locals. I mean, they are pretty chillax when you come here. We have friends live here in Vegas and live in the North and they're all like, yeah, come enjoy. Here's some hikes you should do when you're here. I mean, our friends gave us a list of 10 things to do in Vegas that wasn't on the strip. I'm like, well, thank you very much. Look, the locals, they love Nevada. They are the most chillax people. They let people, you do your thing. I mean, look at the laws they have here. It's, you know, you do you, man, you do you. And so when you're here, you don't have to worry about the locals. They're actually quite fun. And if they give you advice, 
listen to them on the restaurants, on the hikes, on when to go places, when to not to go places, because they are really helpful. And if you have any problems here, a lot of times it's the other tourists that are causing the problems, okay? So just have a heads up for that. And sometimes when you do have trouble when it is here, it's because of alcohol. And I guess a don't you should know is don't worry about getting alcohol because they can sell alcohol 24 hours a day here in Nevada. And a lot of places, do sell alcohol 24 hours a day here. We were driving out here uh, today from Vegas and it's like, oh, mimosas all day long. I'm like, oh, you can celebrate breakfast with a mimosa at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. It's no big deal. You do have that. So that's why sometimes it's a little easy to kind of get out of hand because there's no like last call kind of stuff when you are here in Nevada. I mean, some places do have it, but in general, you don't have to have it when you're here. Another don't I have for you is if you are gonna be doing any hiking, don't mess around when you're hiking because the trails, though they're really beautiful. I mean, when you go hiking here, there's so many great trails, but make sure you have the sun protection, make sure you have water, make sure you go with a buddy because there are tourists that get lost. There are tourists that do fall and bad things do happen. So do be prepared when you are gonna go for a hike. Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention some of the don'ts for Vegas, because I said there's more to Nevada than, than Vegas, but I know most people come to Nevada to go to Las Vegas. And I think some really quick don'ts, we have a whole video on the don'ts of Vegas and mistakes that tourists make when they come to Vegas. So check those out, I'll link those down below. But really, things you should really think about don't take money out of the ATMs of the casinos because their fees are really, really high. So be careful with that. Also, when you are at those casinos, don't expect you're gonna win big, okay? If you come here thinking you're gonna win your down payment for your house, probably is not gonna happen. Just be smart with your gamble when you do come here so you know it's a good time, you lose what you lose, and you move on with your day. And the thing is, you might actually win. And, and if you get really excited, another thing I have to wonder about is, is that old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? That's not true, okay? Because remember, there's social media. If you post about it, your boss will know that you're in Vegas, all right? And you know, and also arrest records, you know, you gotta be careful with that. So, so just to have a heads up. But I think the most important don't of when you do go to Vegas is don't think Vegas is just the strip. There's a lot more things to explore around Vegas. Yes, you can do the Hoover Dam tour and you can go to Red Rock Canyon and you can go to Valley of Fire State Park. You can go to Boulder City and do stuff there. I mean, at Fremont Street, there's a lot more than the Strip when you are in Vegas. So I just wanted to give you the heads up on that. And now we're moving into the more of the adult section of the don'ts when you come here to, to Nevada. One thing is prostitution is legal here in Nevada, but don't think it's legal everywhere. It's only legal in counties under 400,000 yeah, people that live there. And so Vegas, it is not legal. And that's why a lot of tourists get in trouble with the law for solicitation. Okay, so don't do that, all right? So just have a heads up for that. And another area where tourists get in trouble when they're leaving Vegas is don't try to sneak marijuana out of the state. Look, marijuana is legal in the state of Nevada. You can possess up to one ounce. You have more than that, you can get in trouble. The thing is, tourists are getting in trouble because they're trying to fly back to their state, taking some with them. You can't do that, okay? You will go to jail. You can get a fine. You can get in trouble. So don't do that, okay? Don't do that, all right? So these are some of the don'ts that I think tourists should know before they come to Nevada. It is a gorgeous state. I mean, look behind me. This is just fantastic landscapes when you're here. You can have a great time with friends, whether you're up at Sahel, you're in Reno, Carson City, you're here. You're trying to get into Area 51. Don't try to get into Area 51. You'll get in trouble, okay? Don't do that. But there's so much to enjoy when you are here in Nevada. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to learn more, we've got plenty of videos on Las Vegas to get you ready for that part of the trip. And we wish you all the best and have a great time when you come here to Nevada. If you want to learn more, go to our website at waltersworld.com. And a special thank you to all our patrons and members who make videos like this possible. Thank you very much and bye from Nevada.